Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. So, let's see if you don't need any more proof that the creators of UFC Undisputed 3 were pretty much hardcore UFC and MMA fans. This is a mode that um, I don't play very often. I dabble in it here and there, but nevertheless it is a mode that you can find in the game it's called ultimate fights mode and basically what this mode does is it wants you to recreate some of the the best fights in mma history you've got the best of pride which i was able to get a lot of these you've got um ultimate submissions you've got ultimate knockouts ultimate rivals um ultimate upsets now unfortunately and it pains my heart to say this I wasn't able to get these DLCs, like I wasn't able to download Ultimate Upsets, Ultimate Rivals, Ultimate Knockouts, Ultimate Submissions. I wasn't able to download those DLCs, I just, I, I didn't get to it. And at the moment, you just, you cannot, it's no longer available on PlayStation Network, but these are the ones that I have so far. We've got the, the fight, uh, Quentin Jackson versus Vandalay Silva in Pride. We've got Heat Heron versus Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. Mauricio Shogun versus Quentin Rampage. Dan Henderson versus Antonio Noguera, which I've played as Dan Henderson, got to about 80% success. Um, Crow Cop versus Heath, I played that, got to about 44%. Uh, Noguera versus Krokop, I also will need to download the DLC for that, and I'm unable to do that, so we're not going to be able to play that, but these ones, these, what, five, five fights right here, we will be able to, um, to explore, and, uh, and see what they're like, so, um, for this one, I'm going to play Mauricio Shogun versus Quentin Rampage Jackson, and basically what this is going to do is um, it's going to give me objectives during the fight like land a leg kick, land a head kick, or take the opponent down, land a right straight, stuff like that. And I'm going to have to complete the objective during the fight to progress or to, uh, to, get to gain progression. So uh, I'm going to play as Shogun. See how far I can get with Shogun, see how successful I can I can be with Shogun, and then when we're done with Shogun, I'm going to see if I can play as Rampage Jackson as well, and then we're going to go from there. So, hopefully you enjoy this mode, I really enjoy playing it when I do play it, let's jump right into it. Are you sure you want to start Ultimate Fights mode with this fighter? Let's do it, yes. Alright, so I'll be right back once the fight actually begins. Total Elimination 2005, Mauricio Shogun Hua versus Quinton Rampage Jackson. Now Rampage is very familiar with the camp that Shogun comes from, Shootbox, because he fought Vandalay Silva twice, got knocked out both times, and then he squeaked by a very controversial decision over Shogun's brother, Ninja. So Shogun is very motivated for this fight. Quinton, to win this fight, basically needed to keep it in the center of the ring, use his jab, keep his back off the ropes, whereas Shogun basically needed to get him into the clinch, the vaunted plum tie clinch, and start throwing knees at the body. Boy, this one was something where you wanted to see, can Quentin Jackson still remain relevant and get a win finally over Shootbox Guy, or will Shootbox reign supreme and Shogun make it one step further up the ladder? No elbows from here, no head -butting. No to the groins, no grab rope, okay? Strong on his fight, okay? Shake, okay? Sink on. Here judge. we go, baby. Alright, let's see what the objectives are. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pride Fighting Championship. Land four this strikes from standing before Daniels getting hit. Alongside Rutten, AKA oh, shoot. Already missed that show. one. Land a knee to the body from the Muay Thai clinch. The toughest opponent Shogun who has faced to this point. Oh, for sure, Steven. Quinton Jackson has a lot of power. Oh, man, that, that one was to the head. Oh, no. Oh, no. On him, which he loves oh, no. Quinton is probably going to pick him up and big slam him on his back. I think Rampage is going to be way too strong. Right there. Inside. Beautiful. Land three sway strikes from standing. Up. Okay. That's one. Come on, get up, Rampage. Come on, baby. That's two. Oh, no, don't shoot on me, Rampage. Block! Throw! Missed that one. 
Obtain the Muay Thai clinch rope offense position. And there's the Muay Thai clinch. The right clinch there. Is his worst Land enemy six knees from a Muay Thai clinch. To the ropes. Wrestle, man. In the clinch. Stay busy. Get him backing up. Make him pay. Be moving to the outside. Keep and the tie clinch. Come on. Right there. He caught it. Oh, he's got him down. Pushing him away, trying to create some distance. There's the plum clinch. That's one. Oh, knee to the chin, and that almost was a fight ender. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he caught him with a good knee. He's got a double under. Mess that one up. Land a right flying head kick. <laughs> Land more strikes than the opponent. That's one head kick. Nice high kick. He doesn't step that low kick in, that right low kick. He needs to step it in deeper. Or set it up for the punch. Oh, okay. nice body shot there. Oh, liver kick. Ooh, nice kick to the body. Wow. Good punches to the head. Great kick. We're seeing hooks of plenty here. Here we go. Good inside left kick. I've landed more. Now what? Perform a trip or throw from the clinch position. Five minutes into the and there we have another clinch. What is he going to do with it? Bam. There we go. TKO opponent while he is rocked. Man, these guys going at it. Oh, there's a cut. And there's the half guard. Back again into side control. Big left hand. Man, he can take. There we go. Big left hand. He just shook it off like nothing happened. Uh oh. Oh, great knee strike to the body. Oh, that one connected. And open guard. And once again, there's side control. Here we go. This should be it. This should be it. Beautiful. Woo, we got it. We got it. Man. We missed a few. Definitely missed a few, but in the end, we got it. Shogun has <laughs> Yeah, baby. That is vintage Shogun right there. Young Shogun, who was nasty, man. Nasty, especially in pride with these stumps and knees to the heads. Oh, my gosh. Shogun used to be crazy. Here we see it again. Great call by the referee. Okay, so we got Shogun. I'm going to guess about 80% that I got right and missed a few. All right, so we're going to, we're going to, uh, okay, so we're done with Shogun. Next fighter we're going to try to get right now is Rampage. I'm going to get a fight with Rampage, see how far I can get with Rampage. Mauricio Shogun Hua advances to the next round of the Pride Middleweight Grand Prix, defeating Rampage by knockout. Beautiful. Okay, let me see if I can see how, how much I actually succeeded. Let's take a look at this. Exit. Sixty-six percent. That's uh it's not the best. It's not the best ever. We're going to we're gonna redo it later. For now, for now I'm gonna use Rampage. Yeah, next up, Rampage Jackson. Once the fight starts off, I'll be right back. Okay. Cinco. Here we go. Judge. Rampage Judge. Jackson. Judge. Ready? All right, so what's Welcome the first the objective? Come on, perform a takedown from standing position. Partner, there we go, got it. Land Rooten, four Rooten. technique punches from Shogun open guard. Hula, the youngster has made a huge impression here at Pride Fighting Championships. Can he make it five straight knockouts against a fighter the caliber of Rampage? Oh, this is the fight I've been waiting for, Steven. And yes, I think he can do it. Shogun is a very dangerous opponent for Rampage. He's I don't know. I don't know. Stay just That's on the three. Of right there. Counter with a technique punch from the standing position. Come on, baby. He's back up. Push forward, push forward. Oh, good 
left hand. Come on. Got it. Land eight strikes from single collar. Great counter punch. No, that's not single collar. And he's got him in the collar tie. That's one. Two. Come on. Three. Four, five, Liver six. Attempt. You know you want to follow it up with the right hook to the head. There's Eight, one. beautiful. Avoid all ground oh, positions. Oh, lifted his head straight up. And do not glitch. get hit in the head. Oh, nice low kick there, straight into the muscle. Very important also with low kicks that you turn your hips in. There we go. Ooh, Don't get hit in the head and avoid all ground positions. I'm just gonna hold block. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold block. Beautiful. Land three stepping punches from standing position. We're seeing hooks of plenty here. That's one. He can take a punch. That's two. Oh, That's three. Traps him. Obtain oh, oh, oh. the back clinch offense continues. position. Like he never stopped. Whoa. Uh -oh. God damn it, that's not what I want! Get up! Get up, Shogun! God damn it, I screwed that one up. Perform a trip or throw from back clinch. And there we have another clinch. What is he gonna do with it? Come on, Shogun! Give me your back, boy! Bam! KO, TKO opponent from top ground position. Oh man, he caught him with a good knee. Man, these guys going at it. Uh oh, uh oh, connected that. Oh, Here we go. Ground and pound. Oh yeah. Oh, and he's surviving. This is crazy. Oh, this is oh that one's to the head. Wow, oh no. That was gnarly. That knee he's done. Yeah, baby, I did a much better one. job with Rampage. Yeah, baby, that, oh my god, this is so fun. I believe I did a much better job with Rampage. There we go, all done. Alright, so, this was fun. This was very fun. It's been a while since I played this mode, but man, it, it really, really takes you back to the fights. If you're familiar with the fights, it really takes you back to the fight. It, it, it puts you in the moment, and having the objectives is uh, it's it's a uh, it's it's a, a nice twist to it. Something different, something interesting, and I definitely I love it. I, I you know I feel like it's a very unique mode. That you only see with THQ, you know, you see this kind of stuff only with THQ. They did a great job, and it's very enjoyable to play. So let me see how how much success I actually have with Rampage. My guess is 80%. Then again, I guessed 80% with Shogun, and it was nowhere near that. So let's see, let's see how successful I actually was with Rampage. 88%. I missed just one, just one. That's good. And that, that actually is the easiest one out of all the objectives here. Obtaining back clean. That's actually the easiest one. So we'll definitely come back to these and try them again. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments section what you think about it. If you want to see more, I'll definitely bring more to you guys. Um, as you can tell, I've been playing a lot more UFC Undisputed 3. And a big reason why I've been playing more UFC on the Spirit 3 is I'd say I'd say eSports UFC 3 reminds me a lot of UFC on the Spirit 3 in a lot of ways in a lot of ways especially when it comes to the damage when it comes to the um to the offense and defense the fight pace there's a lot there's a lot of there's a, quite a few similarities between EA Sports UFC 3 and UFC Undisputed 3. And I've just been playing a lot more UFC Undisputed 3 to get myself more used to this. I, I don't know how to explain it. You'll see. You, you'll see when you get your hands on the game. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. As always, keep yourself safe and have a fantastic day. Love you guys. Love you guys a lot.